Welcome to the Big Four Accounting Firms podcast, brought to you by BigFourAccountingFirms.com. In today's podcast, we're going to be talking about EOI's response to the leaked plans. As you might remember, there's been plans all over the internet about how much partners are going to get paid out, and also the structure of the potential breakup of ENY into an audit firm and consulting firm. And Carmine DeCibio let his employees know that those aren't the final plans. That's just one of the plans they're considering. But it does seem like ENY still might go through with this. It does seem like they are going to go through with it somehow. But he's, he's been very vague in his response. So it could be this exact plan. Um, he just tried to stress that he's looking out for the people because typical big four partner, they're more worried about people leaving and going to another accounting firm during this time period. And I mean, that is a potential to happen. Uh, I don't think it would happen in the next couple of months because people in Y are waiting for their compensation and bonuses. But as you might remember, EY previously said that they're going to be paying out their compensation earlier and their bonuses earlier. So if they don't structure this thing right, then people might want to jump ship to somewhere a little bit more stable. Especially if you're an auditor, I think there's a definite upside to leaving ENY because if, if you're at the whims of audit partners who are just trying to get a payout and don't really care about your career and you don't know the impact, then I mean, why wouldn't you leave? It, just thinking, just thinking through the implications because you, you don't know what kind of, how your pay is going to be affected. Audit is not growing that much anywhere you look at it. Maybe if you're a small firm that won a big client, then your growth is big. But in these big accounting firms, the growth isn't that big. You might say, well, they're not going to be conflicted out. So they could start going after bigger accounts. Yeah, but I think I think clients are going to be a little bit wary of using E&Y's audit firm uh, immediately after this because they're not going to know what they're going to get. So I think that's why... Carmen DeCivio is saying that. There's just so many implications of this thing. It's very interesting. Uh, you know, we might have to split up the website from big four accounting firms to big, however many accounting firms we end up with after this, because if e y goes down this path, who knows uh, what PwC, Deloitte, and KPMG will do. It's about to get a lot more interesting. But it's also it's also an interesting time to be an accountant because this can this is really going to change the industry going to change the way people audit. It's going to change consulting consulting for a little bit. Yeah. It's going to change accounting for forever because all of a sudden parts of accounting firms can go public. And we've talked about this in the past too because we have some pages on the website about the big four accounting firms going public because there's not really anything stopping them from going public because um Places like Goldman Sachs, consulting firms, they're, they're all public firms. It's just the big four accounting firms have never really thought of it before. They're probably worried about conflicts of interest, things like that. But at the end of the day, when rich people are trying to get richer, they'll find loopholes through anything. So the big four accounting firms could potentially go public. Obviously, if this thing were to spin off, that's one thing they've thought of. So... There's just a lot of implications here. Carmine DeCibio is trying to cover his rear end to his employees. In my opinion, he's not doing a good job. He's not doing a good job leading. He's leading from behind, leading, uh, re being reactionary. I think that's just the type of person he is, which is not really shocking for, for an audit firm. He's just trying to get paid. He's just trying to get his, his buddies paid. So we're just trying to see how this thing pans out. It's very interesting, though, and it's getting a lot more complicated the longer this goes on. But that's the podcast for today. Make sure to subscribe to this podcast so you can get future updates and check out the show notes for useful links. Thanks for listening.